Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you some fun Montessori inspired hands-on preschool activities for the letter R is for robot. For this week's lessons we will be using lots of books, toys, play-doh, legos, mini erasers, pattern blocks, some pipe cleaners, some nuts, and some bolts. As usual, I will be sharing some free printables with all of my subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to leave me a comment and give this video a like. These are some of the books that I'm going to be using this week. Most of these books are from the public library. This one is Remarkable Robots. A super cute book. We're also going to be using this one, Bitty Bot, and then this one, Bitty Bot's Big Beach Getaway. This one we already had. It's I love this National Geographic Kids books. I actually picked up this at the thrift store for 25 cents. I really like using this nonfiction books. National Geographic Kids Robots. I'm also using this one, Robots Everywhere, and this one, Robot. I always like to encourage you to use your public library. They have lots of resources for your lessons. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to be tracing the letter R, the uppercase and the lowercase. I'm using the sandpaper letters. And Montessori method, uh, the child uses two fingers. So we're going to be tracing the uppercase and the lowercase letter. Now, if you don't have the sandpaper letters, Please go watch my video for days of the week and I showed you how I made my own sandpaper letters using sandpaper from the dollar store and some poster letters also from the dollar store. So we are going to trace the letters. If you don't have this resource, this is a free printable from the Measured Mom. We use this a lot. I like that she gives you a green dot where your child is going to start tracing the letter and then tells you you're going to come around and then down. It's very important that we teach children the proper way to form their letters before they start using a pencil before they start uh, using markers or anything you know what they can trace with their fingers and that way they are already learning how to form their letters so i will be using my sandpaper letters and i'm also using this resource another resource that i'm going to use this week is this it's called Skill Builders Kindergarten Writing Activity Set. I got this on Amazon. It's from Learning Resources. I paid $15 for this. I really, really like this. It comes with the little construction pieces. It has 21 little construction pieces. It comes with 13 letter construction cards each it's double-sided so you have a letter on one side and a letter on the other side so 13 cards it has um, write and wipe board and it has a book with um, letters that they can trace super cute it also has um it has all the letters of the alphabet 
and then it even has some tracing shapes and tracing numbers. Super cute book. So we are going to be using this. Now, I am going to take out only the pieces that we're going to use to form the letter R. So if you look at the card, it tells you you need a blue piece, a green one, an orange one, this purple one, and then the little orange one. And so what I'm going to do with my grandson, we're going to look at the uppercase letter R. And we're going to be using the blue piece, the green one, and this purple one. So we'll work with those three pieces first to form the letter R. Super fun way to reinforce the lesson. There's the letter R. Now we're going to form, form the lowercase letter using these two pieces. You just snap them together and there you go. You just made the uppercase letter R and the lowercase letter R. Super fun way to reinforce the lesson. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to trace the letter R in our book using a dry erase marker. We're going to be tracing the letter R and then forming the letter R in our book. For this next activity, I created this Play-Doh mat. You can use Play-Doh, you can roll, have your child roll the Play-Doh and form the letter R, the uppercase and the lowercase. Or you can also use a manipulative. You can use mini erasers and you can have your child form the letter R using a manipulative. I'm, I'm going to be using the mini erasers. This is just a fun way to practice forming the letter, the letter R, using whatever you have at home, whatever manipulative, erasers, pom-poms, whatever you have at home. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. This next activity, it's a number quantity activity I'm using this printable that I created. I'm using some magnetic numbers and you can use mini erasers, Legos. I'm going to be using these. They're like little robots that I found at the dollar store. At Dollar Tree, you get five of them for a dollar, well now it's a dollar twenty-five, but you get five of these. So we're going to put a number here and then we're going to count. Three. One, two, three. And you can use whatever number you have. If you are working on number six, number ten, now, if your child is already working with teen numbers, I went ahead and created this printable and it has two of the 10 frames, so we can work with that. Let's say we're going to work with the number 13. So, we would count 13. One, two, three, four, and so on, all the way to number 13. 
this is a free printable, I'll go ahead and link it below. For this next activity, we're reviewing shapes. I'm using this free printable. This is from Fairy Poppins. You need to go and get the printable yourself. But she offers a lot of little cards so you can review shapes with your child. I went ahead and laminated mine for durability. So we're just going to look at the shapes. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. Super fun way to review shapes with your child. For this next activity, I created this printable. It's a robot and there's some shapes in there. So we are just going to be matching some of our pattern blocks so we can form this robot using our pattern blocks. Now, if you don't have pattern blocks, you all, you know, sometimes I just take it for granted that we all have pattern blocks, but maybe you don't have some pattern blocks. So what you can do, I'm going to show you that if you don't have some of these pattern blocks, I made this printable and this page, you can have your child color the pattern blocks or I am going to offer this page and you decide which one you want to do. You can print the color ones or the black and white and have your child color them. You print as many as you need and then you cut them and your child can play with these pattern blocks. This and this is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. For this activity, we're going to be using some Play-Doh. I'm using this cookie cutter. This is from the Play-Doh Cookie Treats and there's a bunch of shapes. So for today's lesson, we're only using the the square one, but you don't need this. You can just uh, roll the Play-Doh and then cut two squares. I created these cards, so we're going to build a robot. I put, I can build a robot. So what my grandson is going to do is look at the card. I created four different cards. So we're going to look at the card we're going to need two eyes. I already worked on this for the video, but what he would do is look here and get some little eyes. I have some eyes. I have some pipe cleaners. We're calling them fussy sticks. I have some bolts, buttons, some um, beads. So what my grandson is going to do is look here 
and see what we need to build our robot. So there's four little cards that we have and then it just tells you exactly what you're going to need. For some I put paper clips, I try to put things that we already have around the house. Um, buttons, eyes, the little googly eyes, some bolts like this one is two eyes, four bolts so we use two for the ears and two up here, four of the fussy sticks we use some for arms and two for legs and then the last thing is two of the little nuts so we would use those just a fun way to work on you know it's concentration it's logic so many things um, fine motor skills as your child is picking up the pieces so I created four little cards and so I'll offer these um, I'll link them below another thing that you can do if you have some of these have your child form the letter R using some Play-Doh or you can do numbers and Play-Doh two one two For this next activity, we're going to be measuring these robots. This is a free printable from notimeforflashcards.com. Notimeforflashcards.com. So we're going to use some snap cubes and we're going to see how many it's going to take to measure the robot. Now, I've already done this so to save time for this video and we're just going to see how many of the snap cubes it takes to measure each of the robots. This one is one, two, three, four, five. So what we're going to do is count them and then put a magnetic number. For this one we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to put a magnetic number up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one is one, two, three, four. This is a free printable from No Time for Flashcards. Super cute activity. Now, if you don't have some of the snap cubes, you can use pom-poms, you can use buttons, 
you can use some bottle tops, whatever you have at home to do this activity. We're going to be using this number bots. This is from Lakeshore Learning. I think I paid $16 for these. These are so much fun, y'all. They're numbers and you can turn them into little robots. So we're going to be working with these. Let me show you. This set comes with numbers zero through nine and it also has five operation symbols like equal, minus, plus, divide, and multiply. So what your child is going to do with these is transform the number into a little robot. It is the cutest thing. I'm all for teaching, you know, through play, teaching your child while they are playing. These are the cutest thing. So what we're going to do is just uh, play with the numbers and then turn them into little robots. So much fun, y'all. These are from Lakeshore Learning and I think I paid like $16 for them. Super cute, you all. We're also going to be playing with this robot we already had. It comes with a little screwdriver, but we're going to be using our wrist rotation to put some of the screws and put the little arms. Just have lots of fun. This is from Design and Drill Robot from Educational Insights. Another thing that we're doing this week is make a little robot. I'm using a container. I put some aluminum foil up here, glued some googly eyes, used some pipe cleaners, and then we filled it up with uh, beads and nuts and bolts and just make a little robot. I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.